Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. This is Jim Hill, reporting live from the beach in Santa Monica, California, where Donald Gibson is taking on Mia St. John in any charity match. This event is being staged as an exhibition match, Club of Venice, prior to next month's big fight in Las Vegas. Both women seem to be holding their own early here in the second round. Now, I've got to tell you, if someone hadn't told me this was an exhibition match for charity, I'd have to say these women are going at it as if they were the main event. Both fighters are giving vicious blows. And that ends the second round. You ought to quit before I give you a makeover. Mia seems to be really going after Dahl with vicious rights and lefts. I think this is it for Dahl because look at her. She looks down on her feet. Dahl is down for the count. Everyone like Dahl. Oh, everyone except for that TNA bimbo. You got a great oh. look. No, duh. So, um, what exactly is it you think Mia had against Dahl? She told everyone what a fake Mia is. She looked pretty real to me yesterday. She belongs in a swimsuit calendar, not a boxing ring. Isn't it true that with Dahl out of the way, you're next in line to fight Mia on HBO? No! Oh! Let me tell you something. Dahl was more than one of my closest friends. She was my mentor. So, you don't know of anyone else who would have poisoned her? Dahl was poisoned. Someone who merely exists to spur the creation of a boxing Barbie and generate revenues for waterproof mascara. That didn't tick you off? Officer Harper. I'd appreciate it if you'd let Miss St. John speak for herself. I'm a fighter, and my record speaks for me. You're also human. It must have not felt so good to have such a vocal enemy. On the contrary. The stronger the opponent, the sweeter the victory. Mia doesn't mind having to prove herself, because she can. Now, if you don't mind, my fighter has a long day of training ahead of her. Actually, Ms. Neiman, I do mind. Look, Dahl Gibson was a tough opponent, and I'm going to miss the challenge. But as for Dahl hating me... Careful, sweetie, you might break your nail. Who are you, the welcome wagon? Yeah, that would be assuming you were welcome. And I'm not because you don't need the competition. <laughs> yeah, that's good. No, because what the sport doesn't need is another Hawaiian tropic bikini babe who does Tai Bo. Oh, you hurt my feelings. Well, I guess I'm safe for now. Until the press finds out there's a back door anyway. Well, between you and me, Doll may have been a pioneer in this sport, but she was a miserable wench. I'm going to miss watching you kick the crap out of her. Thanks. Aw, isn't this sweet? You two swapping beauty secrets or just comparing bra size? Oh, bitterness doesn't suit you, Joey. Yeah, but see, that's the difference between you and me, Centerfold. I don't give a damn what suits me. Clearly. What? You want to get on this, too? You know what? I'll get into any action as long as there's a worthy opponent. Yeah? Whoa, 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 whoa. I thought only men did locker room brawls. Now, why should they be the ones having all the fun? Right. You were supposed to wait in the car. And you can stop gawking now, Granger, and order a black and white. Mia St. John, you're under arrest for the murder of Dog Gibson. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. Most of her fans. Do you think that Dog Gibson might have stolen it? Or maybe somebody from her corner just to psych Mia out? It's very possible. Look, Mia, believe it or not, I do understand. The last thing you need right now is for the press to turn you into some damsel in distress. But while we conduct this investigation, you're going to need some protection. Let me guess. In 
not too happy with this arrangement. <coughs> We're trying to save your life. <coughs> and you like being helped? I don't always like what's good for me. <coughs> <coughs> years together I would feel betrayed damn right I felt betrayed and angry but it was still the best thing that ever happened to me how so Rick Roberts is better at managing the kind of fighter I am which is a real one not some calendar girl so it bothers you that Mia is so attractive the women who won the World Cup were attractive but they were athletes first women second a real fighter worries more about the speed of her jab, not whether or not her lipstick clashes with her trunks. Everybody knows the dog Gibson out of the way. The only thing standing between you and the spotlight is Mia St. John. Mia's my ticket into the spotlight. Thanks to Stevie Shameless Managing, she's on the De La Hoya undercard. And guess who else is going to be there to show the world what happens when a cream puff goes up against the real deal? Oh, you're right. I want her blood on my hands. But I want to do it on HBO and for a whole lot of money. And not my career. So I signed with Stevie. And how badly did Rick take that? Oh, my God. bad for the complexion. Is that a 38 in your hand, or are you just happy to see me? You know, if your skills were half as sharp as your wit, I'd almost understand Rick dropping me for a four like you. Whores do it for the money. I just do it for the fun. What have you got to gain by pissing me off? A lot less than you did if you would have succeeded in killing me as St. John. But unfortunately, Rick gave the cyanide water to your friend, killing her instead. Isn't that just like a man trying to help out without asking and ruining a woman's plans? Rick gave down the water bottle. So now what? You're going to try and kill me too? I don't try. I succeed. Well, you didn't succeed with Mia. Sure I did. She's left the game, hasn't she? I'm not leaving anything until you and I have finished this. Get out of here, Mia. Yourself and I'll read you your rights. Wait, what about my rights? What are you talking about? Look, all I'm asking for is my shot in the only place that matters to me, in that ring. The hard part was beating you. The hard part was not killing you. 